So it's connected to 4G and then let me click to unlock, confirm that. There you go. So it works remotely and that's the whole point of this. So you can just, from anywhere you are in the world, as long as you've got internet connectivity, you can unlock your door. Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up a smart lock. So details for this particular product are in the description below, including purchasing links. So one thing to briefly mention is that this lock works off a Zigbee gateway, so you'll need one of these devices. I'll include links for this in the description below as well. So let's have a brief look around the packaging. It comes in a medium sized box, some details over here. Phone is the key, grant keyless access, so you can give other people access to this for a short period of time. Auto lock, so you can get it automatically locking and you can know who's coming in and out of your property via a log that's saved in the cloud. Coming around the side, if I zoom in, you can just see some details regarding the size, weight, color, and the battery that's required for this, and the fact it has a one-year battery life in theory. Looking at the back, it mentions bank grade security, Siri unlock, and what's included in the box. On this side, it just highlights the installation steps for this. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. You get a quality control card saying it's past quality control. You get a product warranty card. You get a manual and one side's in Chinese and the other side's in English. And just to note, it says limited warranty statement. The warranty is only for three months on this. You get a smart lock manual and if I open that up, one side again is in Chinese and the other side all in English. You get two keys in the package and good build quality of the keys just to show how the line through there goes. You get a screwdriver and an insulation screw and it's just a matter of screwing it in at the side there. I'll show later on how to install. You get an Allen key and two very tiny screws. You get a plate which goes on to the front if you wanted to put a plate on there just to cover this area. You get a cover plate and this is where you'd use a tiny screw so it just goes into the slot there. The way it works is this part of the lock fits over there and it just gives a nice flush finish if there's a small gap there. So next we have the lock. So in terms of dimensions it's seven and a half centimeters there. The diameter of this is six centimeters, seven centimeters across there and it's three and a half there and three and a half there so you know where your center point will be on there. Construction is good, strong metal construction on there and just to show with this handle you can adjust it here so that will go where the locking mechanism is for multi-point locking or even if there's a handle that uses that and that twists the mechanism that's there. So if you had an existing Euro fitting, it should easily change, but just do keep in mind the sizing on this. Obviously pull your existing one out. If it's similar, then it's fine. But if it's longer, you may run into issues. Okay, coming over here, you've got the key point there. So if I just put one of the keys in just to show, there you go. And coming around the other side, obviously you can twist it to open it and shut it. Now looking over here, there's a plastic bit there. And if I pull that off, reveals there. So there's a button here and a point here with a screw on there. So if I take the screw off, just have a look what's underneath there. So there you go, three batteries required for this. So it's a bit of a shame they didn't provide any batteries with this. They've got details on the box. First impressions of this, I have to admit this is quite bulky but a good feel to it nevertheless. And in terms of batteries, it's a bit of a shame you have to get batteries for this. It would have been nice if it had perhaps rechargeable batteries on there, which you could pull out and recharge and then put them in. Let's make a start at installing the batteries for these. And these are the batteries you'll need. So it's a CR123 and that's what they look like. Price wise, they came in at 384 off Amazon for me. So simple as just putting them in. Now putting the final one in. hear a beep noise so that's ready to use so we'll just put the screw back on the top and there you go we're ready to use this now let's make a start at setting up this device so what I've done I've set up my Zigbee gateway just over here I'll include links in the description below so if you require that you'll know where to go next come into my Android phone the app we're after is smart life so if I search for that that's the one you're after either that or two year now mine's already installed, so if I open that up, so when you're using this for the first time, you'll be asked for login credentials, so register an account if you already haven't got one, 
and now looking in here you'll see many devices I've already got now if I click on studio so that's one of the rooms I've set up in this you can see smart gateway so that's the device set up and looking in there there's no devices added in there so to get this added in we want to click on add sub device and we want to ensure the device is blinking in the background so now if I spin this around there's a button here if we hold on to that for about 10 seconds and now you can see a light flashing away so now going to the app we'll just click LED already blink to try and discover the device and there you go successfully added so if I click done now you can rename it here and add it to a room if you wanted to I'll just click done for now and there you go simple as that to get added in so now clicking on the smart lock this is the interface you're presented with and if I look in the corner there you've got settings options so let me quickly run through the options you have there so you can rename it here device information if you've added it in to tap to run an automation you'll see where it's linked in and now offline notifications if it comes offline then you'll be notified share device so you can share it with other people you've got FAQ and feedback and then you've got check for firmware update and then remove device now coming back from there this is what you're presented with so you can see a battery indicator there not sure why that's at zero so if I spin this for a second see if that comes to life hasn't come back to life let's give it some time now looking on the lock itself if I click there it says open the door remotely and I'll click confirm to that and there you go opening remotely now how cool is that click confirm to that and you see now the battery indicators appeared so it's saying a 70% battery remaining on there now looking below there you can see a date and a time when the app unlock was initiated now coming down below you've got information and these are any alarm records coming back you've got users you can add in other users to be able to control this records looking in here you can see the times it was unlocked and then settings remote door opening administrator password only and these are different options in there no password required disabled remote doors coming back from there auto lock time so you can get it automatically locking as well so once it's been unlocked you could say after a few minutes you want it to lock again and then switch direction so you can see when I spin it, it spins that way and then if you had it another way on the door and it was the wrong way around that's what that would do you can just switch the direction it's spinning in coming back from there next if I come back from here just to note I've renamed the smart lock fr to front door and you can see all the Zigbee devices in here so if I come out the gateway you can see the gateway there and if I go to all devices you can see the smart lock now as a separate icon there so you don't have to go into the gateway to see all these devices now going in there all the functionality is available as expected now if I drop this down turn off my Wi-Fi let's test out remote connectivity so this is where you're out and about and you wanted to unlock that door for someone so it's connected to 4G let me come out for a second go back in and then let me click to unlock confirm that there you go so it works remotely and that's the whole point of this so you can just from anywhere you are in the world as long as you've got internet connectivity you can unlock your door and that's it that's all the options you have available on this okay so I'm at the door where I'm gonna test this out on and you can see for yourself it's quite a thick door so this is a UPVC door for a porch and if I close it you can see there and the euro cylinder lock just is there and if I open it up just to show in terms of dimensions if I hold it like so and get the lock you can see for yourself it is pretty thick the door itself including the handles on this so fitting on this isn't very good I'll just show the concept of this so at least you get an idea how it works so I can pull one of the handles off put it into position and then obviously test it so let me get my existing euro cylinder lock removed first there you go the locks off now and just to show you in terms of size the smart ones are slightly smaller you can see in terms of length now let's position that in so just to note you'd want to line this up so it slots straight in so if I now push it in now the smart locks in position just to show 
it's too thick to put the handle on and just to show on this side you can see for yourself there's a slight recess where the lock goes in but I have managed to fit it and I can turn the handle now to finish off the installation you just get the cover that came with it and then use the allen key and the small screw just to tighten that up into position and there you go that's what it looks like and now on the other side if I move the camera just to see there you go with the key can be overridden easily now this is a multi-locking system so if I pull the handle up and then we do the lock there you go it's locked now see for yourself I'll pull the handle down if I take the key put it in there there you go and that lets me unlock it now let's lock it again just to show and from the key I can lock it as well so that's locked and let's see what happens if you leave the key in actually and I'll try unlocking it nope that didn't do it that's interesting so if you leave the key in there it won't work and if I take the key out that's it now that's worked so that's interesting to see the fact if you do leave the key in there you're not going to be able to unlock it so you've got to pull the key out and then it will unlock so in terms of fitting very easy to fit now let's try pulling the batteries out and see if it will work manually okay so I've pulled out one battery now and in terms of manually unlocking that's still possible as well obviously without the motor running so the key would still work too see so if I just put that in just for a moment there you go the lock works so there's no issue with the battery running out the only thing you're gonna lack is the remote connectivity from the app next let's show the smart lock in action with the app so you can see at the moment the multi lockings on and I can't pull the handle down now coming over to the app if I click to unlock and just to note the Zigbee gateway which the lock is connected to that's about eight meters away so a good distance you can get with these devices now if I click confirm see it's spinning away that part of the locking mechanism worked and now if I pull down there you go works so simple to unlock obviously via the app you can see they're all working fine now looking at the app going to records you can see the instances which I've already mentioned when the unlocks happen there's no option to lock it reason being obviously to lock this you've got to pull the multi locking up and then put it into position where it's in effect so in this instance it's not going to work so if I now pull this down and if we now go to settings and go to auto lock time if I just put a minute on there confirm okay so to test this out let's lock the door so if I now spin it around pull that down that's locked now and now if I click to unlock that's unlocked it and now if I pull down you can see it's unlocked now so let's give it a minute and see if it manages to auto lock there you go that wasn't a minute but that auto locked and if I pull down you can see it's not in the lock position now reason being obviously the multi locking isn't in operation so if I now pull that up let's just click unlock again on the app okay so that's unlocked let's leave it for a moment that's pretty quick and if I pull down there you go auto locked 
So auto locking does work. So looking at the timing in settings now for auto lock time, one doesn't represent minutes. So it seems like a certain number of seconds and then it just auto locks. So let's try it with two, for instance. And if I come back from there, it's locked at the moment. Let's unlock it. Okay, to that, if I pull that down, you can see now we put it back up so it's ready to be locked again. Okay, so it's locked. So I think it's around 10 seconds per interval. So if you picked one, it will be 10 seconds. If you pick two, it will be about 20 seconds. So that's how it seems to be working. So in terms of usage of the product, keep in mind, obviously, the thickness of your door if you're going to buy this. I think it's more suited for an internal door. I don't think I'd actually trust having this on my front door of my house. In case there's any sort of glitches and it automatically unlocks, unlikely that's going to happen, but you know, better to be safe than sorry, these sort of things. In terms of functionality, I think it works quite well with the app. Shame there's no integration with Google Home or Amazon Alexa. So if you're looking for that sort of integration with a smart lock, this ain't the product for you. It's nice you've got the auto lock function on here, but keep in mind, obviously, if your door is multi-locking like this one, where you've got to obviously pull it up and the multi-locks come up, then you've got to remember to put it into that position when you close the door to ensure it auto locks. In terms of enhancements on there, it'd be nice if they actually had a rechargeable battery. The batteries in here cost me around eight pounds for four. So not too happy about that, the fact it costs quite a lot to buy just a set of batteries. And again, the lifetime of the batteries will be dependent on how much you're unlocking and locking the doors. Obviously the motor's kicking in every time you turn it. So on top of that, it would be good if they had the Google Home and the Alexa integration working with this. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing a smart lock. Details are in the description below. Hang around for the end cards. I'll have some more smart tech. Hit the like button if you've liked this video and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of the product. If you disliked it, let me know why. So there you go. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.